I am the dumbest human of life. <laughs> so here's what's going on. I'm at work. Um, Matt and I have plans to go to dinner. I'm going to meet him at the restaurant. And so I have to change out of my work clothes into my like going out clothes. Um, and I come out to my car to grab those clothes. And I lock my keys in my car. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so dumb. Like, I don't know why when I get like excited or just like in a rush, I just like don't think about things. And all I have, I have one key, my car key on like a hand sanitizer, like keychain, like from Bath and Body Works. That's all I have. And I just left it laying on my seat. I can literally see it when I look in the window. I don't have a spare key with me. I'm not even positive if I have one at home, but Matt being the good boyfriend, he is called triple A and they're supposed to be on their way. Um, so we just moved our dinner reservation back. So hopefully it'll be okay. They're gonna get it unlocked. But the only thing I'm worried about is normally when like, my arm is getting tired. Normally like before when I've locked my keys in my car, um, like a police officer or like when I was in college, like a campus um, security guard tried to get it open and they can't get it open with their little like device that they use because my lock is just weird like it's not like normal locks so I don't know I hope they can get it unlocked because I don't want to have to like pay a locksmith or anything and I honestly don't know if I have a spare key at home so hopefully they can just get it unlocked fingers crossed praying that it's gonna freaking come unlocked um so yeah that's what's happening right now I'm really really dumb <laughs> I'm in my car. <laughs> the AAA guy got it unlocked. I was so nervous because before, like I said before, like normally they can't get it unlocked, but he was awesome. He got it and like he wasn't even here for 10 minutes. It was awesome. So yay, now we get to go to dinner. Um, minor setback, but definitely not the worst thing that could happen. It just goes to show that sometimes things can go wrong and sometimes they can go really wrong, but sometimes they can go really, really right too. And you shouldn't just let one little thing ruin your day. That's one thing, like, Matt is such a positive, like, person in my life. I am the type of person that something like that will happen and I'll just be like, well, screw it. Like, the whole night is ruined now. Like, everything is ruined. And he's like, no, we got this. Like, this is what we're gonna do and it's gonna be fine. And even if that doesn't work, this is what we're gonna do. And, like, I'm not like that at all and I wish I was. Life's good. Just sometimes you gotta let life be good. guys <laughs> we are on our way to go eat chick-fil-a i feel like this is like we eat chick-fil-a in every single block <laughs> but it's i eat it more often than that actually but we are on our way to have chick-fil-a for dinner and then we are going to play putt putt it's super nice out and i'm gonna kick matt's butt right no, i said it right that time <laughs>
I do, Matt? You won. I kicked his butt. You won by one. You did not <laughs> kick my butt. I kicked his butt. It is a Sunday morning and I'm on my way to Dolores' house to get my hair done. I thought I would kind of show you guys the process um, because hopefully it's going to be a transformation. I'm sick of these roots and I'm excited to have something different and I trust Dolores. I think she's going to do a really good job. Um, I work with her. She's a makeup artist. She does hair also. Um, so I'm super excited. It's going to be really good and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Trying to look at you in there. Taking that kind of dark brown, just a little bit lighter, and giving it a different tone. So, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vlogging with my phone now because it died. We are about to wash the first process out. Um, it's looking really cool. I'm excited. having a, like a meltdown it's like crazy yeah so essentially we went in and we broke her base up and that was our first process and then we came back in and we low lighted and we also highlighted to take that rootiness up a little bit and kind of create like a nice flawless melt like a gradient like yeah and what do you think Katie? Do you oh think my gosh it? like I can't honestly <laughs> just the feel like it feels so much healthier like I hated the way my hair felt before and now I can like move it I can do whatever oh, yeah I'm obsessed Dolores is an angel <laughs> felt like before it was awful and like you could tell it was just so unhealthy and it felt terrible and now it's just like so soft and so oh it just has so much movement like <clears throat> I'm in love honestly I'm so excited um, so yeah basically like she kind of mentioned what we did but um, we like took my base like a little bit lighter and cooled it down a little bit. We may go back in and make it a little cooler just to match kind of the tone of the blonde down here, just so everything's like very cool. But my hair naturally is very warm, so it was a little resistant to like the color. But I'm like in love with it, honestly. It is amazing, it feels amazing, it looks amazing. And she also did an Olaplex treatment, which she I think she mentioned. Um, which is just that is what like made it so healthy um it's just amazing like i didn't know that my hair could be this healthy again without just like 
letting it grow for like ever and ever. Like it feels amazing. I'm so excited to be able to like do more with it and it actually like do what I want it to do. I just had, first of all, I had so much hair, like it was so thick. And second of all, my hair was just so dry and fried from all the bleach that like it just wouldn't do anything. So I'm just so excited to be able to like actually do stuff with it now. And it's just has so much texture. She did such an amazing job. So thank you so much Dolores for making my hair dreams come true and making me a little silver fox again. <laughs> Seriously, I appreciate it so much. You did such an amazing job. If you're in the Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky area, seriously, like Dolores is the bomb. I'll link her Instagram down below. She is amazing. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I'll probably film tomorrow, so I'll have a makeup tutorial up this week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and